This is the macro half body, no swing body in, and we'll talk about the advantages of closing in. First thing is when you bop the return and the ball is going to the net person, you have to say something to your partner. And I like to say things like watch it, short, lob, okay? You don't want to say anything without in it because they might call a hindrance on you and then you lose the point. Because if I say watch out and they're like, oh, you think you called it out? And I'm like, no, I said watch out. It, it's actually kind of like, eh. So I flub this return. I tell my partner watch it. And then he does what he's supposed to do. He just stays still and stays low. Someone's in front of him to cut the angle. Someone's on the left of him to cut the covered backhand. Because normally volleys go cross court or line, right? So I'm covering in front of him. My partner will cover the angle. My partner is pretty, he's got really good reflexes. He'll just stay. Some people will run, like you can run away. If they have big power, I would run away. He stays, he stays low, he covers his feet, covers his body, and just puts the racket on the frame. And now this is the interesting thing, right? As soon as it's going away from the net man in the air, I come in. Going back deep, I see it, I'm coming in, I got a lot of time. But I can, so I split before impact, I'm going to guess where it is and I'm going to move in. I want to get in the box before the ball gets to me. And then I do what I call the macro half volley. And I keep closing in. Split, bunt, body in, no backswing, no, no, no follow through. I use my body weight behind the ball. The swing is very short, the face is open. I'm going to put my body behind the ball and then move the racket forward slightly, right there. Body weight's right there. You see the body weight into the ball right there. Body weight. I squeeze the racket head. I come in behind it. Give myself some clearance. I can do something like this with a lot of loft because he's not going to come in the net to volley. What about a baseliner? So he's a guy that looks to hit a ground stroke before he looks to hit a volley. And therefore he's going to let a lot of balls bounce. He hits the ball a ton. I'm in. Now we're both going to split right before impact. See both of our my partner and him, we both split before impact. He's got alley, I got cross court. If he plays middle, we'll both try to get it. And if he throws lob, I have to get it, unfortunately. Generally on the lob, whoever's closest to net doesn't have to get it. And that's probably going to be me because I'm farther away. But he's not going to lob. And as soon as I read the cross court, I'm moving into the court. Or I won't be able to get to it. I just got lucky hit the net. Or there's no way I would have got this ball. So macro shot, try moving as much as possible, close the net, shut, shut down the angle.